part two celebratory 400 video subscribers not video subscribers what am i saying channel subscribers i'm old i'm still trying to figure this gig out whatever i'll get it so we're gonna light a fire have a chilada I'll mix a chilla canada drink uh what are we gonna do let's start by opening this guy up Okay, this cupboard is from an old church. It got torn out of an old church. It's got to be over a hundred years old. It's all handcrafted. It's awesome. Need this, need that. What else do I need? I don't think I need any paper in there. What we need next? Some bark. I found some. No, I'm not purposely searching for bark off trees and all that crap. This is bark that was on the ground from my wood pile. I don't need too much, just enough to start it. Well, if it's not going to cut in half, I'll just put the whole thing in there. Then what else we're going to take is, let me go through this one, a bunch of my shavings from when I was stripping poles. Strippers and poles. I don't know. I like a... You can go lay down. Okay, so what we're going to do is just light that with a lighter. Go lay down, kiddo. Yeah. What are you going to do with your nose? What are you going to do with your nose? Like, seriously, what are you going to do with your nose? I just want to know. No more gas. There we go. Just needs a little gas is all it needs. No motivation. Yeah, like that. Don't put it out. Just patience, man. Patience, Jerry. You're going to put her out. You're going to choke it out. In the meantime, let's get our ingredientes ready for this chilada plate are we gonna do a moonshine chilada for celebration there's just a bit left we'll save it for the weekend it's so tempting ah oh, what do i do no Okay, get going, fire. How are we going to do this? Uh, let's try like this. Let's move the angle this way. Might have to move the table too. I don't know, we'll figure it out. We always figure it out, don't we? See how good that lit up there? Let that catch for a bit. We got that. We got this. Ice. Oh, we got sausage. We got a, we got a pickle. Sausage. Tomato juice. Worcestershire sauce. Tabasco. And there we got a beer. That's how you break the ice. Okay, is that cooking up? That's cooking up. So what we need to do now is come put some more on there. Kindling. That's a kindling. Yep, drop that on the floor. Crisscross it so it doesn't choke it out. Okay, not too much weight for now, because it'll just collapse it. Let that catch, let the smoke billow out. That's why I have an open ceiling in here. The smoke goes up and out. So, what else do we need for this drink? I think that's it. So if you guys remember, start with the rimmer. 
happens is you got to put that stuff on the edge of your glass. That's Mott's Clamato Rimmer. Some lemon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know what we're going to do is we're going to rim it with a pickle. No! Oh, it's so good. See what I'm talking about? We're going to drop the pickle in. Ice it up. Worcestershire, the ashes, Tabasco. Worcestershire, oh, some lemon. Uh, put all this away in the cooler, clean up your mess. So, also, what I like to do is the chilada guys, they took take a lot of the spice and put it right in the, the salt and spice and put it right in the drink too. So, you know, I got to burn this because she's going to get into that if I don't. Then we're going to have trouble. More wood on the fire. Now that's going to get going real good. Okay, you know what? We're going to have moonshine. Screw it. Why wouldn't we? I got a surprise for you for moonshine. I found an old uh, clay moonshine jug from like probably the late 1800s, early 1900s. And I'm washing it out, rinsing it out. I bought corks for it. So instead of hiding moonshine in your liquor bottles like this, Ooh, that's a good shot of moonshine. Like, we're going to do it all. We're going to do it all. We're going to do it all. Oh, that's going to be a good shot of moonshine. Yeah. What we're going to do is I'm going to clean that out, and then I'm going to get a guy to make a batch or someone. There's plenty of it. You guys know, if you're in the backwoods area, there's plenty of moonshine everywhere. It's awesome. Different tastes from different regions. Well, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to make some goddamn friends that do make it. Here we go. Okay. Got to keep that away from the fire. It'll probably blow the whole place up. Oh, man. Put about put it in our uh, forget about it box. Forget about it. Hey, forget about it. All right. What the hell am I gonna stir with? You don't need utensils and all that shit to stir things. Look around your feet. Look at the ground. You don't need a knife or a fork. Go to your wood box. Grab a piece of kindling. Make sure there's no slivers. Take a little sip. Oh, holy fuck. All the moonshine sitting on top. That's why you got to stir it. <laughs> good stuff. It's giving a real good stir. Why did I pick such a long stick? Because it's got to go to the bottom. There we go. Real good stir. Don't give that. Well, have that, Lenka. A little dab of moonshine will do you good. Anyways, here's to 400. You guys made it go so quick. I can't believe it. It's awesome. I'm so very happy. Man, oh man. So cheers, you guys. Die Borgia. Oh, ha. Ooh. Ugh. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Before we take a second sip, we better uh, put some more wood on the fire. Piece of birch and this. Bat that down a bit. Yeah. Whew. Ha! There's a lot of moonshine in that one. You saw. Oh, I'm going to be for forgetting words and, and stumbling words here in about five minutes. <clears throat> Good old time in the woodshed. People driving by. What's going on in Jerry's woodshed? Oh, he's just having a shot of moonshine again. Don't worry about him, honey. Just keep driving. I may have howled at the moon. The moon see? I may howl at the moon sometimes in the summer, especially my brother and my daughter. My oldest daughter is down here visiting. Gets a little wild out here. It's awesome. You guys try howling at the moon sometime. It releases that inner bullshit out, right? And then the coyotes howl back. Oh, okay. What are we going to do? Let's start slow roasting these uh, smokies up top. I think we can do that. Maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Clean it off. There we go. Our celebratory smokies. Oh, what's that? What the hell is that? See that? Bleh. What is that? That came out of my drink. That's gross. I wish I knew what it was. Did it come from the beer? I didn't have beer. Did it come from my glass? The ice? What the hell did that come from? Wood. Idiot. Okay. Moonshine will bite you. You know what we're going to do? Now we're turning it into a chilada. Look at that spritzing, beautiful, goodness, graciousness stuff. Yeah. Chilada by the fire for 400 subbers. 400 subscriptions. This is for you guys, too. Did you pause it? Pause it now. Are you back? You're supposed to pause it to get a beer. That's what you forgot. You got up, went to the kitchen, forgot why you were there. Pause it now. Did you get your beer? Did they get their beer, Lenka? Okay, we'll lie down. Okay, now we're going to sit back. Enjoy this magical, wonderful goodness. I need something for my feet. I need a good old, big old stump. This guy, Lenka, you're going to catch on fire. Is that a good footer? Oh, that's a good footer, all right. Okay. That one. Put a bigger piece on, you say? Sure. Okay, let's put a bigger piece on, Jerry. Right here. Okay. Like that. That one's going to spit all over me. Watch this. How much time we got left? Where are we at? Oh, we got plenty of time for this video yet. 
Let's just sit here, cook sausages, and have a chalada. Oh, yes, sir. I can even use a cool. You know what? I can use a cooler for a footstool, too. Dual purpose. <sighs> Keep your feet warm by the fire. Pull this closer. Yep. <sighs> I'm living the life. I hope you guys are living your life. You're on here this uh, little shithole for one go round, so don't make it a shithole. Make it worth it. You're never in a shithole, really. Just don't be a pussy and change up your situation. Buckle down, tell yourself what you got to do, and change your situation. Only cowards bitch and complain and don't change their situation in life, right? Oh, yeah, that's better. Chug a lug, chug a lug. <sighs> yeah. I feel weird like I should be doing some chores or something. It's hard for guys like me just to sit back, relax, and just celebrate sometimes. I've never been to a beach destination, you know that, in my life? I'm the kind of guy, if I go to a beach, I'm probably going to be laying there thinking, okay, what can I do? Or if I go to a destination like that, I'm going to be the guy that wants to wander around, and I'd like to knock on someone's door and go to their house and try their home cooked meal or I want to check out their culture and and uh, what was their architecture like in that area and uh, all that kind of stuff their artists what kind of paintings they got in the area and their local museum I can't just lay on a beach if I'm gonna lay on a beach spend big money I'd rather put it to a quad an ATV or snowmobile or I can just sit here and this is this is my vacation like it's that's just the way I am I don't know I got a buddy like that, too. We go to a cabin. He's, Davey, you're out there somewhere, Davey. Love you, man. You're a good dude. Fuck him, Miss Davey. He'd be pacing. Yeah, he'd be. He's so busy, always on the go. He'd be pacing. He's got to be doing something. So you got to put a beer in his hand, get out the crib board, do something. He's a pacing. Yeah. Busy guy. You gonna lay by the fire, Lenka? All cozy and warm. Oh, she's getting nice now. You're waiting for those sausages to drip down. That's what you're doing. I ain't dumb. I know what you're up to, dog. Right? That's exactly what you're up to. Oh, my feet just get nice and toasty. I hope I'm not blocking your view too much, guys. And gals. Gals. I think there's any women watching this channel. They probably get so sick of this redneck shit. Maybe they probably just yell at the TV and shut it off. But I don't know. There's probably a lot of you gals out there that like these kind of drinks and do this every night as well. There we go. There comes a spitting show of the wood. I'm starting to sweat a little bit and get warm finally. Or fix a mustache. I got beer and salt in it. Awesome. Ah. 
We are almost done Huckleberry Finn 2. I've got probably three more chapters, maybe four to go. We are that close to the end, guys. It's getting exciting, too. I think all I'm ever going to... I love... I so love even living the old way. There go the words. That's that moonshine I told you. I, to, I warned you. I love living the old way. Wood fire heat. Like this is my cabin. Where my cabin and my woodshed. But when my youngest daughter is 18, I'll probably be, be out here the whole time. I kid you not. When she can take care of herself, when I'm, did I say my oldest? When my youngest daughter is 18. When she can take care of herself, I might be out here the whole time, just living life like this, just getting water from the well by hand, bathing simply. I might build some type of just a bucket with holes in it to bathe in, warm the water, throw it up, douse myself with it, swim in the river, cook my brekkie and coffee on here, and just keep filming and doing all this stuff for you guys, you know? Like, why not? Guys, you support me enough to enable me to do that someday. That That's how simple it is. Like, just... Oh, like, a don't, don't catch on fire. No black doggy, no black fur. It's probably a bad spot, dog. You should probably move over there. But just by uh, commenting, hitting the like, sharing, you don't have to. Don't feel pressured. But And subscribing, it's crazy uh, how many, I can't believe how many tens of thousands of people are watching my videos now. It's I'm like, what? And uh, they'll watch, but hit the subscribe if you like it. If you like this jackassery, just subscribe to it. And uh, yeah, someday, maybe in a couple years. I can just do this and uh, all the time. I try to. I think I try to upload for you guys about every two or three days. Even if it's simple stuff like doing chores, I know some of you enjoy it. So I'll, I'll keep it up for you. But again, this is our, this video is just our 400 sub uh, celebratory video. Man. Totally grateful for that. We're almost done this moonshine gelada. With the Ukrainian twist. And what's the Ukrainian twist? That's half my heritage. I'm half uke from 100 years ago. Get out of there, pickle. That's the pickle in there. That's the Ukrainian twist. There's my celebratory pickle. Chris. My old buddy Chris, too. Man, he gets a chuckle. He texts me and says, you got the best videos. This one's for you. This pickle's for you, Chris. Mmm. Okay. Next time, guys. 400. Muy bueno. Mm.